The recent resurgence of the world's tallest geyser is not a sign of an impending volcanic eruption, a new study suggests. And it's also unlikely to signal a dangerous hydrothermal vent, which can occur when superheated water turns to steam and violently erupts from the rock that surrounds it. The reason behind the reactivation of steamboat geyser, found in Yellowstone National Park in Wyoming, remains a mystery, scientists say. But the study, which examined a wealth of seismic, environmental and other data from the Yellowstone region, is helping scientists better understand what makes steamboat and other geysers active. After more than three years of inactivity, steamboat suddenly erupted, spewing a towering stream of hot water into the sky. The event began a new active phase for the geyser, one of Yellowstone's most famous features, and has some park observers wondering if the sudden eruption is a warning of greater dangers to come. When it comes to potential threats to Yellowstone, the supervolcano itself has received the most attention. But deep reservoirs of magma also heat groundwater that circulates underground or pools on the surface, and that boiling water poses a much more immediate threat to park visitors. Perhaps the biggest danger at Yellowstone is people who step off a trail and fall into boiling water. But there is always the risk of a hydrothermal vent. Such explosions are poorly understood and therefore difficult to anticipate. But they can be deadly. So now that Steamboat is back on its feet, scientists think it's reasonable to consider the possibility that more violent activity might be on the way. To assess the potential threat, he and his colleagues are gathering a wealth of data from Steamboat. The data includes seismic records dating back to 2003, GPS determined landslides that may be related to magma movement, changes in underground temperatures and how much heat is radiated into the air above the geyser basin, and changes in the volume and chemistry of the water erupting from steamboat. The data revealed that seismic activity in the area had increased slightly, the land had risen slightly, and heat radiated into the atmosphere from the geyser basin had increased, all of which could indicate some kind of magmatic movement. However, no other dormant geysers in the area had awakened, and underground temperatures had not changed. The team also found no other correlations between subsequent steamboat eruptions and seismic activity, land deformation, or thermal emissions. Steamboat also appeared to exhibit a seasonal eruption cycle, erupting more frequently during the summer than in the winter. That pattern suggests a possible link between eruption frequency and increased river flow from melting snow, the study said. But the ultimate trigger for Steamboat's resurgence remains unknown, said Michael Poland, a geophysicist at the U.S. Geological Survey who is also the scientist in charge of the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory in Vancouver, Washington. The authors did a great job of taking every possible variable they could and ruling it out. Even if the answer is that we don't see a reason why Steamboat would be active, it's still valuable information. The study also provides some insight into these mysterious and sometimes deadly geysers. Most geysers don't behave in predictable ways, Poland said. Old Faithful is especially unusual because it erupts on a regular schedule. One of the most fundamental questions about geysers is why they erupt to such heights steamboat, for example, can shoot water more than 300 feet into the air, while Old Faithful's jets are perhaps a third higher.